G'day Legends, Blake here with another video and for today's video I'm going to try and answer the age old question of what is the best tool that we can use to determine the temperature of our aquariums. Now for ages like many fish keepers I've tried all sorts of things from infrared temperature guns, old school floating thermometers, uh, ink birds as well and digital thermometers. So today I'm going to try a bunch of these things out on a bunch of my different tanks and we're going to see if we can come to some sort of conclusion about which one is best. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so for the first tank, I'm going to go with my Fluval Flex, which you can see on the screen now. With the actual Fluval Flex, the flow is quite good. So I'm not too worried about testing the actual same point in the tank, but for the others, I will try to put the probes as close to uh, the same point for each test. Also, I'm wearing gloves for this because no matter how clean my fingernails are or how trimmed they are, somebody always comments on it and I'm self-conscious about that now. So I'm wearing gloves. Um, so this one here looks like the LED screen is a bit broken, but we've got 23.3 as the reading for this one. Next up, I'm gonna hit it with the temperature gun and the temperature for all of these are gonna be in Celsius, but at the end of the video, I'll have a table with conversions to Fahrenheit in case anyone's really interested, but really for the test, it doesn't matter what the reading is, it's more about the difference. So the reading for this one is 23.4, which is good. Uh, looks like they're both pretty consistent actually just a quick check, that one is now on 23.4 slash three. So it looks like that one's pretty much the same reading. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put the probes for the ink bird in there, and that is the screen you can see now. The bottom temperature, ignore that, that's the setting that the heaters were on the last time I plugged this in. And the other thing to keep in mind is that the ink birds can be easily calibrated using the app but this is again fresh out of the box, which I think is valid for this test because uh, we can't be really sure on any other temperature reading devices that we have. So why would you change it from what was in the box if you didn't have access to all of these testing equipments? So this one here looks to be the most out so far at 23.1, uh, 0.3 degrees off all of the other uh, devices. I'd read that as 22. Uh, on this. So by far the um, most inaccurate, which you'd probably guess. So we'll move on now to the next aquarium and we'll do the whole thing over again. So the next tank we're going to test is my CPD grow out here. One of the tanks that just houses some CPD fry. As you can see, you've already got the uh, mercury thermometer floating in there. So I'll start off with the digital uh, probe thermometer next. And I better actually remove the lid to make this whole thing a lot easier. So there we have the readout for this one, approximately 21.6 degrees, which is odd considering that we're quite a lot higher than the Fluval Flex in this room. I would have expected it to be a bit warmer than that, 21.7. So let's see what the infrared temperature gun is going to say. So we shoot it in there. 22.1, again 22.0. Okay, next up we have the ink bird. Again, we'll put the two probes in and we'll give it just a minute to, to update there. While we are waiting for that to update, since I have had the mercury thermometer floating in there, we can read that. And that's what it's reading, which is about 20 on the dot to my naked eye. 20.0, ink bird now, 20.3, 20.3. So that's interesting, that's still going up. All right, 21 for the ink bird. Looks like it's settled on that. Next to cream. Okay, so I was conscious that we haven't done any yet with the sticker thermometer on the front glass or any glass really. So this one here does have one on the left corner, just over here. And that is currently reading um, 
23 degrees, which I'm going to suspect is quite high for this time of year. It's the middle of winter here. So my fish room is a bit harder to heat than other periods of the year. So I actually don't mind that there's a bit of a cooler period at this time of year, but um, some of you might have been wondering why all of my temperatures are so low. Uh, so again, 23 degrees on the sticker thermometer. So infrared thermometer is reading 19.9. Probe thermometer is reading 19.9. And the mercury thermometer is reading 18, if I look at that. So final update on the ink bird, we have 19.6 degrees. On to the next aquarium. Next aquarium is this 100 litre planted tank. In goes the um, mercury thermometer. In goes the probe for the digital. And I'll get the ink bird set up. Infrared's reading 26.3. 26.3. We'll take a look at the digital thermometer here. That's reading 25.0. The pro, uh, mercury thermometer, that's what it is reading directly out of the tank here, which in person is 23.5. And the ink bed on this occasion, 24.8. So that's probably what the one where we've had the most variance. And interestingly enough, again, it is one with really good amounts of flow. Uh, if you can see these plants here, there's quite a bit of flow in there actually. And if I bring some of this duckweed across to the spray bar, you can see there how much it is moving around to give you an idea. So. It shouldn't be the case that there are cold spots and hot spots in this tank. So I'm not really quite sure why these are all having such a variance on this tank. Perhaps it's got something to do with the high attempts as this is one of the hotter aquariums we've tested so far. Now onto the last tank for this video, which is gonna be my sort of monster fish tank. Okay, so this tank here is gonna be the subject of the last round of testing for these various uh, temperature devices. This one does have an adhesive sticker uh, thermometer over on this corner here, but on this side, which is currently reading 23 degrees Celsius. Also, this aquarium here does have an Awaza digital adhesive thermometer on the side of it too. And that, um, unfortunately, <laughs> I broke it with my clumsiness, but it is reading 23.2 as well. Uh, I, I'm happy to do these tests, but I never ever want to endanger my fish. So whilst I was putting the digital probes in for the ink bird and the digital thermometer in this tank, the fish were actually trying to eat it. So I've quickly fed this aquarium and I've scooped out a cup of water to use for the mercury uh, thermometer because I do think they'll probably try and swallow that. And it's definitely easier to swallow that than one of the probes. So uh, I'm going to test that one pretty quickly and um, to make sure that there's not too much variance. I know it's not perfectly accurate, but I'd rather something slightly inaccurate rather than the Saratoga accidentally swallowing a thermometer. So with that one, we'll kick off straight away with that. And this is what it looks like here, which is reading to me 21, 21 degrees. Next up, the probe thermometer here, digital thermometer, 22.9 degrees. The ink bird temperature controller, 23.1 degrees. And the infrared thermometer, 22.5 degrees. 22.5. 3 degrees. So we'll take the average of that at 22.4. Now let's talk about the results. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you found that to be an interesting experiment. I've gone ahead and put a table together of all the results. So let's talk about them right now. So to get started, the Fluval Flex, we had 22 for the floating, 23.4 uh, for the infrared, 
23.3 for the aqua one and 23.1 for the ink bird so so the biggest difference there was the floating thermometer which was about one degree cooler than the rest on the grow out tank we had uh, temperatures around about 21 to 22 with the floating again being the coolest by about a degree. The Lalupi tank uh, had temperatures of 18, 19.9, 19.9, 19.6 and 23. So the sticker thermometer, as you can sort of guess, is wildly inaccurate. Sort of gives a bit of a ballpark, but nothing really crazy whatsoever. Um, and the floating thermometer again, maybe this case about two degrees cooler than than the rest next up was the better tank here and that one was probably the most inaccurate uh the floating one 23.5 infrared 26.3 the uh digital thermometers 25 and 24.8 so in my mind the aquarium is probably about 25 but maybe it's a bit warmer on the top which makes sense because if you have a look there's a really, really powerful light on top of that tank and it does put out a bit of heat too. So I do think in that case, it's probably a bit warmer at the top of the aquarium. And whilst I mentioned there was good flow in the tank, maybe it's uh, more laminar flow, which is kind of in a straight line rather than around and around and around. So I might have to play around with the spray bar in that tank to get it a bit more circular rather than sort of a straight line to the input, straight line to the input. Um, so. The floating tank, the floating uh, thermometer again, about one degree cooler than the rest. So um, that sort of tells me that the two digital thermometers are probably bang on the money. The infrared can vary, especially if you've got um, deeper tanks or tanks where it's going to sort of change in temperature over the over the depth. And uh, the floating thermometer is probably accurate enough. Just in my case, it's a bit cooler in terms of the um, actual chart that's in inside my particular one. Saratoga tank, we'll see if that theory um, lays true. Floating thermometer, about one to two degrees cooler than the rest, which makes sense because it was also tested outside of the tank. Uh, the infrared, 22.4. Uh, the two digitals, 22.9 and 23.1, so very accurate there. In this case, the sticker, and the digital stick on uh, thermometers both 23 so fair to say that that tank's probably 23 degrees the infrared slightly cooler at the top and the floating is probably reading true but just one degree too cool so as always with these experiments they're kind of like just fish room science you know there's not anything too calibrated or specific about it but i just thought you know we've got so many things and sometimes i take temperature readings of tanks but i don't really believe them myself and I'm sure plenty of us out there are in a similar boat. So at least with the five or six different implements that I used in my case, they all took temperature pretty well, but it just comes down to actually calibrating the equipment. So for me, from now on, I'll feel still confident using my floating thermometer, um, the infrared thermometer, either of the digital ones, or the at least the Awaza stick on thermometer. Uh, I will add an extra degree onto the floating thermometer and the infrared one I'm going to be careful on in tanks with minimal flow or deeper tanks um, because it might not be getting a true reflection there but either of the digital ones seems great. So yeah I think all of the equipment is fairly accurate and it's dealer's choice which one you believe is probably the best case or the easiest to use. If you are in the market for picking up some temperature measuring equipment, it's probably a good time to plug the channel sponsor, Aquarium Universe. Uh, you can use my code for 10% off. They actually did send me the Oaza uh, digital thermometer. Um, so they have those in stock right now. Unfortunately, yeah, I was too clumsy and I broke it. Otherwise, you probably would have see, seen more of it in this video. Yeah, anything you like, I'm sure they'll have it down in store there. So go check them out. Other than that, if you like this video, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. If you've got any other equipment that you use to measure temperature and you'd like to see that in a future video, be sure to drop it down below. Uh, otherwise, just let me know what you thought of this video and uh, hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.